Today we're going to be doing how to do a double whip on a scooter. Oh, look at that one. Yo. What's going on guys? It's me, Anthony O'Day. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial video, but first I'm going to show you guys something I think is pretty cool. So I just got this set up in my room. Nice little fish tank full of fish. I don't know if you guys are into fish and all that like I am, but if you are, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is what we got going right now. I don't know, but it's pretty sick in my opinion. Uh, it's, that's pretty cool. But that's not what this video is about because today we're going to be doing a tutorial video. I haven't done a tutorial video in a while, so I feel like doing another one. Today we're going to be doing how to do a double whip on a scooter. Look at these fish though. Yo, look at that one. That's so sick, bro. Yo. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a double whip. Here we go. Alright, so we're out here in the street, and I haven't rode out here in a while, so you know, it's a nice little change of scenery. But yeah, let's get into a double whip. So... It's pretty self-explanatory what a double whip is. It's two tail whips in one air, but if you don't know what that looks like, it looks like this. So yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you guys on flat, but this is the same concept for ramp or anywhere, even air if you wanna learn air. I don't recommend that. You should learn this probably out of a flyout. That's your best bet. That's where I learned it. I'm just teaching you guys here on the road because that's what's most convenient for me. I don't have a skate park to go to, and I don't feel like doing this air on the half pipe. And it's, like I said, it's a it's a nice change of scenery. I haven't rode out on the road since like the summer. So enough talking, let's get into this. By now, you should have your tail whips mastered on a ramp. Wherever you wanna learn how to double whip, you should be able to catch your tail whips. So that means this. So you should be able to jump up, do a tail whip, catch it in the air, and then land. Now let's actually get into how to double whip. The number one thing with learning double whips and even further with that, triple whips, quad whips, all that, is your arms. The flick is important in the beginning, but if you just flick it and leave your arms still, that's not going to work out. Like, I'll try a double whip right now and just flick it. Like, that was horrible. It's really the arms that are gonna get your deck around. It's very important. And if you don't already know how to do that, basically, you're gonna go like up and down like this with your arms. And you're just gonna do that. You're gonna get more used to doing that until you get it faster and faster. You should already know how to do this from learning a, a single tail whip, but it's more needed in double whips and so on and so forth when you get more advanced and do triple whips and quad whips and all that but yeah like the first like doing a single tail whip you're gonna flick it and then you're gonna use your arms and it's just one two you can count out in your head to keep track it's kind of confusing when you spin it so fast you can't really keep track of what you're doing but you can just go one two and you'll land it that's basically the mechanics of doing the double whip what you're gonna want to do with your body and this this mostly comes naturally. When you flick it, your legs go up just so you have the maximum amount of air time. You don't want to keep your legs totally straight because then you won't have that much air time. The higher you bring your legs up, the more time you have in the air. So if you're not whipping it around enough, then you can land on the deck. That's basically all there is to a double tail whip. You know where to do it. Like I said, I recommend fly out. That's a good place to do it or even a bank. You know what to do with your scooter. You flick it and you move your arms and move your arms like that. And then you're going to bring your legs up as you do that. So bring your legs up. And then after that, you just land on the scooter, you catch it, you stick your feet out, land on the scooter, and that's a double whip. So I hope you guys learned something. Just watch this video over and over again. If you're not getting it, I promise you'll get it sooner rather than later. But that's gonna do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, click on the bell for post notifications to be notified every single time 
I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you.